The transit time ultrasonic flow meter is used to measure the flow of clear liquids or the liquids having very low levels of undissolved solids in full pipes. Here is a video on how to install a clamp on type ultrasonic flow meter. The total set of a clamp on ultrasonic flow meter contains two sensors, one remote, two cables, couplant, and a steel belt or steel rope. First check if you have all the components in order. All codes on the flow meter and sensors should be matched. They are to be used in sets. Sensor details are given on the sensor. Sensor has fixed groove for steel belt and for a wire rope. There are indicators of ultrasound transmission direction and start point for measuring sensor's distance. Upstream and downstream locations of sensors are color coded, red is for up and blue is for down. There is a provision of anti-skid slot for ease of mounting. There is inbuilt magnet in the sensor, to attach to iron pipes. There is an emitting surface for sending and receiving ultrasound signals. Accurately measured parameters can have a great influence on measuring precision and reliability. Actual parameters that need to be entered in the flow meter before starting the flow measurement are Outer diameter Inner diameter or pipe thickness Pipe material like PVC, plastic or metal etc. Lining parameters if lining exists. In this case, there is no lining. So, we did not enter any lining parameter, fluid type which type of fluid is used for measurement like water, seawater or any other. Here we are using water. Sensor type which type of sensor is used, here we are using clamp on type sensor, also select sensor mounting method V method, or Z method. Here we selected V method. The flow meter then calculates the spacing between the sensors. Note down the spacing distance. Now it is a time to check installation point on pipeline. For appropriate installation, following points are to be considered. Ensure that the pipeline is always in a fully filled condition. The pipeline should not be having vibrations of any kind near the installation points. If any vibrations exist, these need to be fixed by giving proper support and tightening the clamping of the pipeline. Steady flow is required. The pipe should be away from pump outlet. Ideal condition is 10D that is, 10 times of the pipe diameter, for upstream and 5D for downstream. Clean the surface of the pipe. Paint, rust, and anti-corrosive coating on installation points need to be removed. Here we have used sandpaper for cleaning. We already know the distance to be maintained between sensors as given by the flow meter. The flow meter locations are to be accordingly marked on the pipeline. First take upstream sensor that has red marking. Please evenly smear 2 to 3 mm coupland on the sensor emitting surface, then install the upstream sensor. This is to be installed using steel rope or steel belt. Measure the distance and mark the location of the second sensor. Then take the second sensor and install downstream sensor at its marked location, with steel rope. Both transducers are now mounted accurately on pipe. Let's now connect the sensors to flow meter. The cable with red end is connected to red labeled sensor. In same way, the cable with blue end is connected to blue labeled sensor. Other ends of red and blue cables are connected to red and blue connectors of the flow meter. Now this installation is done. Now the pipeline can be filled with water. With full flow in the pipe, we can get accurate measurement of flow rate and velocity of the fluid. The flow meter also shows signal strength quality. So we can be sure of the installation. To avoid signal reduction and improving anti jamming ability, it is better to use the customized signal cable from flow meter manufacturer. For more details of clamp on ultrasonic flow meter, please visit www.manasmicro.com or reach us at digimark at manasmicro.com. Thank you.